Hey Jules Community, ITFC101 here yet again bringing you my first Magic 2013 video on this channel. Um, and I can only apologise that it's been so long. I know Magic 2013 has been out for approximately forever. And um, I still haven't put a, brought a video and I can't keep this hand. Um, I guess I'll keep this one even though it's a lot slower than I, than I like with this deck. But um, I can only apologise for not uploading Magic 2013 to Jules earlier um i played the hell out of this game day one i literally played it like i streamed for seven hours and then i played even more and i literally over the first few days burnt myself out so when it came to um playing for youtube commentating for youtube um i literally just didn't have the motivation and um and i and that can be seen on my channel i've uploaded some magic there at 2013 but not nearly enough as i'd, as I'd like um this guy's kept a one land hand so that's bad for him um, but now I'm starting to get the motivation back, um, and he is playing the burn deck, um, but I, so I'm starting to get the motivation back, and, um, so I'm gonna go on a recording spree over the next couple of days, um, I don't have any plans, so I am able to do that, he is gonna light and bolt, he's got the promos to my face, okay, so he's obviously gonna go, gonna try and do this quick, looks like he's drawn the land, and he has... Um, that guy, so he's going to kill my 2-1, that's unfortunate, but I'm at 14, uh, and Burn of Flame is a really good, really cool deck, and there is Squaddy Hawk, but I think I'm going to get this out, because that is going to win me the game, because um, he can't deal da deal damage to that, um, I do have Odric as well, Odric is tempting, but I'm just going to get that out there, because he can kill this easily, um, well, not two. I mean, he's only at two lands, so there's not many. Well, he could just flame slash it, so he can kill it really easily. But I wanted my first game of Ruby Medallion is huge for him here. Um, I wanted my first game of Jules to be with my favourite deck in the game, and it is Peacekeepers. Um, I've been really having a, a debate with myself over what is my favourite deck at the minute, and um, it's between two. I've got it down to Peacekeepers, which I think is also the strongest deck apart from Goblins, but I don't want to talk about Goblins in this commentary. That is a that is a topic for another day. Um, so this is one three, so I really... I'll just get that guy down there. Um, but it's P Peacekeepers, I think, is the strongest deck, and Crosswinds, which I think is awfully fun to play. There's so many different things you can do with that with that deck it really is it really is fun to play and um so i wanted one of my first games my first video on jules community to be with them decks so i'm probably having gonna have a game with peacekeepers and a game with crosswinds um this seems like it's gonna be a bit of a blowout um he does have flame of the firebrand um so it's, it's a one two three yeah so that was that's as pretty much as good as good as it could have got. Um, I can play Squadron Hawk and Odric this turn, um, so I can swing in for five as well. I mean, I can't see a way of him being able to deal with my side, and I should have played these fights first main. Um, total total misplan on my part. I mean, you you guys, you know, you love my mistakes. Um, you you love pointing them out, and I love you guys for them. Um, uh, initial point as well about squadron hawks when there was only two of them in the deck i did not run them but they brought out the third for the for the what you call it for the promo cards and as you can see here and i, I decided three is worth running two was a bit meh we talked about this on the jules community podcast a few weeks a couple of weeks ago and um, that was the main consensus that three probably run it two definitely not don't know if they to kept that there's flame slash to kill odric as i as i thought he might have but um, I, and he's been replaced by AI, so I guess it's a nice, easy victory for me on my first game. Um, can actually get Captain's Call out, so that's going to make my monk quite large. And I don't, is this going to be game? I think it is. Yep, this is going to be game. So that's Peacekeepers. I mean, he didn't put up much competition. He got pretty mana screwed. Um, but Born of Flame is also a very good deck. But I do love me some peacekeepers. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little game. And I'll be back in a second with another one. So back in a sec. Anyways. And we are back. I decided that pe that peacekeepers game wasn't wasn't enough. 
Um, it was only four minutes and it was no competition whatsoever. So I've decided to do another one of Peacekeepers. This hand is a lot different to um, the hand I had I kept in the last game. But um, it's still a pretty sweet hand. I mean, I can get Honor the Pure down next turn. I've got three of the lands I need. If I draw nothing but lands, hopefully I will be fine. Um, this is a mirror match. That guy will go tapping. Um, but I'm just going to play Honor the Pure and then swing in because he can't really do anything about that. Um, Loyal Sentry is a very nice, but I just want to get Honor the Pure down. On the pier down there, Law Sentry is a very good card. Um, it just it just stops them from swinging in. I mean, with their best guys, it's absolutely insane, and it's a shame there's only one of them in the deck. But of course, he's not going to swing in. I'm not going to block, of course. Sorry. Um, so let's see what is turn three. Turn three is really important for this deck. Um, normally, I like to have a Crusader of Odric or something like that. He's got that guy. That's another guy I like to have. It's the two-two first strike, which put, brings in another guy. Um, that is also a Vega card. He's actually going to swing in with him. Um, if I can draw a Glorious Anthem, that'd be quite funny. But I don't think I'm going to do anything too extravagant. That's Captain's Call. I could just Fiend Hunter his 2-2 two -two and swing in. I think that's, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I really like to be really aggressive with this deck. And, um... With Honor the Pure out there, I can start swinging in for some damage. I mean, if he wants to block, there is token, then that's fair play. Um, I probably would, but he might keep... If he's got a Glorious Anthem or an Honor the Pure of his own, he's probably not going to block because he can get through for some damage in response. But um, he's got five cards in hand. He's hit land drop four. I am still might not hit land drop four. There's Oblivion Ring, so he's going to Oblivion Ring my Fiend. Okay, he's going to Oblivion Ring Honor the Pure. That's... Probably, uh, I think he would have got his guy back, so that might not have been the play. Um, but he c is it one? Is it one and one, or is it just a play? Okay, so he can tap down my guy. Um, I have enough for captain's call, so I am just going to swing in with the fiend hunter. So probably he didn't tap that down, to be honest. Um, and he, he's going to block, of course. That was silly by me. Didn't really think that through. Um, and then I'm just going to play Captain's Call. Shame I don't have my Honor the Pure. Um, is is Solemn Offerings in this deck or the Life Gain? I can never remember. But if Solemn Offerings are in this deck, I would love one for Oblivion Ring. Because my Oblivion, my Honor the Pure would be insane right now. Um, his tap down guy isn't going to be doing as much work as possible. I don't really have any huge guys. When this guy comes out, then yes. Um, if I can draw land land, I'll be able to play Monk, Captain of the Watch. Um, he's got his Squatty Hawks. Um, so that is huge for him. I have no flying defences at the minute. So if he can get an Honor the Pure of his own. And he's just saying go. So that makes me think he's got the Raise the Alarm. So I will be doing no swinging in this turn. There's land, so I can play Monk. Um... So that is beautiful for me. He is an 8-8. Eight, eight. And now I have some fly defense as well. So I'm pretty sure he's got the raise the alarm. Um, there is. There's no... Oh, it's pretty obvious that he had the raise the alarm there. Um, almost not worth doing because it was so obvious. But if I draw the land, I get Captain of the Watch. And all these guys get Vigilance. Um, Journey to Nowhere on my Monk. That is a shame. But that's not going to be the card that wins me the game. This is going to be the card that wins me the game. If anything does. Um, so if I draw the land here, I should be okay, hopefully. Um, be interesting to decide if I do draw Solemn Offering, if they are in this deck still. Not 100% sure. <laughs> to to um, decide which one I'm going to kill. So no land for Captain of the Watch. Um, I guess I'll just play my guy, say go. Um, he can't swing in because I'll just block unless he wants to use his tap down guy to tap it down. But um, just wait until all the lands, then this guy will have Vigilance. Um, that guy won't, because I think it's just Soldiers. So, But all these 1-1s one will have, I think they're Soldiers. Um, is Loyal Sentry a Soldier? He is. Okay, that's good to know. So there's the squ third Squaddy. He's got one more card in hand with four mana. Um, he's not playing it as of yet. If he does swing in with the Squaddies, I will trade. I'm pretty sure he, he was aware of that. Okay, there's the land for Captain of the Watch. 
Um, so now I've got a decision to make on what to do. My monk would be huge right now. And he's been replaced by AI. This game is so not over. Um, I'm just going to swing in, because why not? This game is so far from over, it's not even funny. And that's real disappointing that he give up there. Um, especially if I lose this game now. Um, the computer might out-trix me or something. Oh, look at them tapping down all main phase and stuff. All non-main phase, I mean. Um, so what do I, I guess I want to kill his tap down guy here. I don't mind about the squadron hawk living for a turn. Um, I guess I'll kill the squadron hawk here. Did he triple block that? It's a bit weird. Okay, so I've come out of that with a huge advantage, as you'd expect. But now it's just planning against computer. I've noticed a lot of people leave really easily in this game. And I mean, really easily. Um, I mean, that guy gives, gave up literally straight away. <laughs> And that guy swang in there, I don't know why I didn't block. I just... That, that confused me. Um, he's got a Fiend Hunter, so he's actually going to take my captain here. Um, which is really terrible for me. And there's a Captain's Call. But that that, that was actually real terrible for me. Um, computer, you're not allowed to do that. Come on now, that's not fair. I guess I just swing in with everyone. I'm not going to swing in with the Fiend Hunter. Really annoyed he um, fiend hunted my captain's call there. Did I swing in with my loyal sentry as well? I did, didn't I? Ah, uh, you gotta love my mistakes. My mistakes better than anyone else's mistakes. So there's the captain's call. So um, hopefully he can't do anything there. Um, I mean, playing against computers nowhere near fun, of course. Um, but this should be the win now. And if he has to raise the alarm, he can do he can maybe survive, I don't know. But um anyway, that's the second game with peacekeepers, and a second time a guy a guy's left. So um anyway, I'll see if I can go get a game of crosswinds and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, and we are back playing crosswinds. Um it's our other favourite deck, other than peacekeepers, still not sure on the on the rankings. This guy this hand I'm not gonna keep. This hand I shall keep. And the last hand was keepable, I guess. Um, it did have the tidings, so I could have drawn the cards eventually. And um, this hand has a bit more to it. Um, need to draw something relatively quickly. Maybe a fog bank would be halfway decent. This guy is either Pan Exalted or Obedient Dead. And it looks like he might have a turn one, but he might just have hold priority on. Um, so I'll just get favourable wins out there, turn two no big deal just hopefully that will set me up for when I draw a Tarawan's Invocation either this turn or next turn um, that is a what's it called something medallion I can't remember the black one jet medallion so he is playing Obedient Dead um, he's running 60 cards which is good for him not me there's the Tarawan's Invocation we knew we'd draw it um, so he might think I have the counter, so he's going to be careful. Um, da -da -da -da. So I can get Tower Ones down there. There'll be two three threes, um, another Jet Medallion. So he is going to be able to play some. He can play a three drop right, right now, the way it, which only requires one Swamp. Don't know if he has one of them though. Uh, Murder I know is a double Swamp. It's one black black. Um, Let's wait and see what he does. And um, I do have a repulse if things get a little bit messy. But for now, I'll just play Tauron's Invocation. So they're 2 3 3. So he's on a four turn clock, but he'll probably do something to to um, one of them. Maybe there'll be a Machtach. There's been a Machtach. I can't do Scottish, I. Massacre Worm. Um, I guess I could make one of them of my own. Um, it's just till end of turn, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm on a huge clock as well. I can repulse that and make him waste his turn. Oh, I'm one land short. Oh, that is frustrating. That is completely frustrating. 
Um, I'm just going to ma make him waste his go next turn. Maybe I'll draw Mana Leak. Panoptic Mirror. Okay, things just got interesting. So I could mirror my right of replication. That is definitely a possibility. Um, oh, God's sake. So say bye bye to Panoptic Mirror Kids. Say bye bye. Yeah, that he that was a pretty easy decision for him. So that's a shame. Um, that is a Liliana Spectre as well, and it's a fly and blocker. Um, I'll get rid of the land. Not too fussed about that. Need to keep that for Masquerade or whatever other beast spell he has. Really annoyed he had that Myers Toil. Really annoyed. And I drew the Time Warp. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that is frustrating. That would have been game. That would have been the game. Alright, so he's at 11. I can counter his Massacre Worm. Or whatever big guy he decides to play here. Oh, I'm so mad right now. It would have been perfect. Oh, what's that guy? Is that Shade? Any other Shade, yep. And that's on the glitch. I have to change with you. Okay, I'm not too fussed about that. I mean, yeah, I mean, he has to play a swamp, so for that to get big, it's, it's not it's not an issue this game. Um, So I I have to hold the cancel for the rest of the game. Sign in blood, target him. He is not terrible. Although he will be taking six. I could I can win here. She has game over, yeah. All I have to do is swing in twice, then time warp, and then swing in again. Okay, this is this is fine. Don't need you, Stitch Sky or something, Drake, whatever your name is. Don't need ya. But um, swing in. And then I can just time warp. I think I'll take the extra turn. And I'm not going to be cheeky and go for Stevens. I am just going to swing in with both, just in case he has something. In case he. He can't murder, I know that for sure. Sorry if the Orjo has gone weird. Um, so it might, I might be a little bit out of sync here because my PVR messed up. But um, that's it for this episode. My first video of Magic 2013 on Jules Community. Um, and look forward to many more. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next Magic video. Better guys.